guys, Yeah, Coach Zoe here, and this is gonna be your kettlebell and kickbox workout. It's gonna be full body hits. All you need is a kettlebell, and we're gonna work some body weight kickboxing. So let's get started off with our warm up. We'll keep it light and loose with some jumping jacks. As always, modify wherever you need to. I'll offer some modifications along the way where I see fit or where I think there might be some common adjustments. You don't need to be advanced with the kettlebell. I'll offer some beginner and advanced options with our kettlebell moves. All right, but we don't need to be doing anything out of our realm, so don't you worry. We're gonna work in Tabata format today. So it's hit, we're doing Tabata, 20 seconds work, high intensity, 10 seconds rest slash transition, and we're moving quick. So each super set, we'll call it, each set of work, we have six different sets, is going to contain a kickboxing series, <laughs> and then it will alternate with a kettlebell power move. So we're going to keep it exciting, that way we're not doing the same thing over and over again. Just repeating enough to mix it up and keep it interesting and to challenge you, but then we'll switch it up when it feels like it's starting to get a little too repetitive. And then after each round, not each round, but after each individual Tabata, all right, so we'll go for our three rounds through both exercises. After each round of Tabata, or I'm sorry, I keep saying it, after each Tabata, we'll take a long minute to rest, all right? That will be our real recovery time, okay? Remember, those 10 seconds are essentially just active <laughs> recovery, get a quick breath time, okay? So, it will be challenging. It's going to be a hard workout, but you can do this. Good, and let's find a hinge. And just like, take our arms through all directions forward, 45, and level. Warm up the backs a little bit. A lot of pulling today. We're gonna focus a little more on pulling with our kettlebells, just because kickboxing, right, is so forward. Okay. All right, let's knock out our jumping jacks or get some water. Before we get started, we got about 15 seconds. I'm gonna demonstrate <clears throat> our first two moves. So, first one, we have a triple jab. So we're gonna go one, two, three, then a triple cross. One, two, three. All right, second move will be a push press with your kettlebell. You can two-hand it, or you can single hand and rotate. Let's begin. Triple jab, one, two, three, triple cross. One, two, three. One, two, three. I want you to bring that hand all the way back to your chin. Keep those hands high and rest. All right, so push press. If your belt's a little heavier, double horn it. All right, otherwise you can do single, but it's only three rounds. Let's begin. So your last round, you'll probably do double anyway, so it's up to you. We only have 20 seconds, so you don't want to waste time. Dip and drive. Dip and drive. Two, one, and rest. All right. So that was one round. We have two more. All right, so three rounds total in three, two, one. Back to it. Triple jab, triple cross. and rest. All right, so the key with that jab cross, coming all the way in and out. We do those short punches, you're not gonna get the same cardio. Let's go. Back to our push press. Dip and drive. So if you did one side, switch it this time.
Make sure you're dipping your hips back, not your knees forward. And rest. All right, two rounds down, one more. Long break, then we move on. All right, so like I said, this workout moves quick. Let's get started. Triple jab, triple cross. Tight fist. Twist at the end. And rest. All right, last one. With our push press. Starting in three, two, one. Let's begin. Zip and drive. All right, so now we have our super long minute <laughs> to rise. So quick drink of water if you need it. I'm gonna start going over our next super set, our next Tabata, okay? So here, a little bit of balance incorporated, you have a couple options. So a little more advanced, we could do high side kick, low side kick. We're gonna alternate high, low, high, low, high, low, and you're gonna re-chamber. So you'll Shoot it out, re-chamber, and then shoot it down, okay? That's one option. You could even hold onto a wall if you wanna do that. If you have some kind of wall to hold onto, boom, boom. I remember you to switch. And then we have swings. So, kettlebell swings, two hands. You're gonna hold it tight to the hips. Elbows stay tight to the body. We're not reaching, okay? It's all from the back end, all from the hips. Nice, strong posture, you'll pop those hips forward and just let that bell guide. It can go all the way overhead, American style, or if you want to stop at eye level, that's fine too, all right? Test yourself in three, two, one. Side kick, high, low, high, low. And if you're not into the double height, you can totally just do one side kick each side. Try to keep a tall posture here. So I know it feels a little crazy, feels a little awkward. I oh, really gotta test your balance there if you're doing doubles. It's just a little bit different. Three, two, one, let's go. We got swings. You can just build up a couple times before you take all the way overhead. Notice from the side, my hips are not overextending at the top. Okay, they're staying underneath my shoulders. My elbows are bent, okay, because they're loose. And rest. If your arms aren't trying to reach it away, all right, we're keeping our back engaged. Elbows face the body. Your hips are doing the work, the bell will carry itself. High, low, side kick, let's go. High, low, high, low. Hands high, tall posture, all right? Use those obliques to keep you upright. Catch me if I fall. Rest. Whew. All right. Back to our swings. Get ready to rock and roll. Three, two, one, begin. All right, so remember, it's Tabata style. You only have 20 seconds to show me what you're made of. So put it all out on the table for those 20 seconds. Last round, best round, let's go. High, low, high, low. All right, you guys. Last set of swings, then our long break. So I told you this workout moves quick. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Again, a nice, strong hip thrust. Your chest shouldn't be coming down too far. All right, that bell stays close to the body the entire time. 
and rest. Whew, 20 seconds. It's not very long, but if you're working hard, it's just the right time. All right, quick drink of water if you need it. Then we're moving on. So we're gonna go back a little more to the upper body to just the boxing. Okay, so we have, now remember, we're only working for 20 seconds, so I'm not giving you long combos or anything because that's silly. So we have jab, cross, one, two, three, four, uppercut, okay? So jab, cross, one, two, three, four. I don't want, duh, 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 right? It's not in your biceps, okay? Full body, pop, pop, okay? Twist, pivot through the hips, okay? Through the full body. Then we have a high pull, two options. You can do single hand, a little more challenging. So you'll hold that bell, you'll pick it up from the ground, you'll explode through those hips, come straight up the midline, all right, elbow high, and then you'll switch, boom. So you just alternate, or if that bell's too heavy, two hands, same thing, all right? Let's get started, jab, cross, four uppercuts. Jab, cross, up, 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 up. All right, next is our high pull. So, again, if you're single hand, you're gonna alternate the whole way through. Let's begin. And rest. All right, on to round two. If you try it with a double, you feel strong to try the single. Switch it up, that's fine. Let's go. And rest. All right, again, back to that high pull. So if we're two-handed, all right, we can feel like we kind of want to swing it tight to the body. Let's go. So power is initiated with the lower half, and we follow through with the upper. And rest. All right, you guys, last round. Get ready. Starting in three, two, one. Jab cross, four uppers. Jab cross. And rest. Who's my mic? All right, you guys. Get ready. Last set of high pulls. Three, two, one, begin. And rest. All right, long break. I'm gonna get a quick drink of water. You come right back. No skedaddling. All right, next, Tabata. <laughs> Two options, more advanced option. All right, you're gonna bring up a knee. You're gonna jump and switch as you kick. Okay, then you'll just start to alternate. So, right, left, right, left. Or you can just go knee, kick, knee, kick, and continue to alternate that way. Or you could just do the front kick, but I want, I want you popping it out. Then we have squat cleans. So a more beginner version, two-handed. You're in this hinge position, you're gonna pop it up. 
finish with the squat. They are two fluid moves, okay? You're not breaking them up. If we're single hand, we're gonna alternate. Let's go, jump switch kick. Watch your tools around you. Don't land on your kettlebell. It's okay if you're not in a perfect stance for this one. And rest. Woo! 20 seconds. All right, get ready for our squat clean. So again, clean right into a squat. Don't crash to the bottom. Let's begin. Don't let that bell flip over. You're rotating through the shoulder girdle all the way down to the wrist. Rest. This is a leg heavy Tabata here. Those abs are gonna be working to get that kick out. Three, two, one, back to it. All right, back to our squat cleans. Two, one, begin. You're powerful on that hip thrust. Powerful when you stand back up. We're not trying to drop back down quick. It's a smooth transition, but we're not crashing. And rest. Woo, this one's kicking my butt. All right, last set, you guys. Whatever you've been working with, maybe you do the jump this time. Let's do it. And rest. Woo. All right, last. 20 seconds of work. Man, does it move quick. Three, two, one, let's go. And rest. Whew. All right, you guys, two Tabatas to go. We're almost there. This workout's not very long because it's very true hit. So if you are working at your maximum intensity for those 20 seconds every time, your gas tank is not gonna be that big, okay? So that's why the workout's not 45 minutes long. I want you to maintain that high intensity. All right, next we have all six punches. So jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. All right, that's simple. Jab, cross, two hooks, two uppercuts. Then we have a hand-to-hand -hand swing. If that's not working for you, it's too challenging, back to uh, standard swing. But you're gonna hold it one hand. When you come up at the top, you'll switch. Boom, okay? You'll switch at the top. So again, if that's too hard, don't drop your bell. Start yourself! All right, you wanna make sure though, just go to eye level so you can make that switch. Let's begin, jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. Jab, cross, hook, hook, up, up. And rest. You feel like you're going fast, but you also feel like you're going slow. All right, hand to hand swings in three, two, one. Let's begin. Again, notice nice smooth switch at the top of the swing. Same exact mechanics, just a little bit of a rotation at the bottom, which is why I like the hand to hand swing. 
and rest. A little extra, another plane of motion being smushed into one exercise. All right, let's go. All six punches, begin. Okay, back to our swings in three, two, one, let's go. Again, you don't need to make your hinge big. In fact, you want to avoid getting too low in the hinge. It should not look like a deadlift. If it does, you're going to hurt your back because you're trying to be powerful through too big of a range of motion. Explosive power, it's a fast contraction. You're not gonna do that boom through this huge range of motion. Let's finish strong. Jab cross hook hook up up. And rest. Oh. If you're pivoting through those feet, your hips are turning with it, full body work. All right, hand to hand swing, last round, three, two, one, let's begin. Keep that weight in your heels. Again, notice, very small hinge. And rest. All right, you guys. Quick drink of water, last drink of water, really. Let's go. All right. Next, boxing and lower body. So we're gonna do <clears throat> hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee. All right, it doesn't matter what leg you knee with first, it's just probably gonna feel natural as you're dominant leg, but we have hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee, okay? After that, we have thrusters. So, two-handed or boom, all one side. You can switch all one side and then finish two-hand, however you wanna do it. We only have 20 seconds, so it's really not enough time to switch the bell over, because you're gonna waste like a good two, three, four, five seconds just doing that. So, we don't have time to be switching halfway. So get ready to rock. Two hooks, two uppercuts, two knees. Starting in three, two, one. Last Tabata, let's go. Hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee. Hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee. And rest. Remember, it's all about the intention of your work, right? You can do it lazy, not get anything, or you could go hard. Let's go, thrusters, squat, and press. I don't even think I demonstrated that for you. I apologize. Squat and press. Powerful on that way up. And rest. Get as deep of a squat as you can there. The lower, the better, as long as that form is intact. Hook, hook, up, up, knee, knee, let's go. Watch where your belt is. Don't get hurt. All right, back to our thrusters. Ready to rock and roll. In three, two, one, let's do it. And rest. 
All right, you guys. Last round, best round of the entire day. All out effort, everything you have left. Three, two, one, hook, hook. Up, up, knee, knee. Speed and power. 100% effort. And rest. Woo! All right. Last side here. We got thrusters. Get ready. In three, two, one. Finish strong. Last 20 second push. Drive hard through those legs. And rest. Woo, bell to the side. Let's shake it out. Quick drink of water if you need it. Deep breaths. Let's slow it down. Woo! With some arm circles. A little march. Let our heart rate come back down to normal. Please don't skip your cool down. I know we finish our workout. Probably sit down or run to the shower. Don't do that. <laughs> Bring your heart rate back down first. And then you can go. But otherwise, if you enjoy this workout, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you really, really liked, which Tabata was your favorite, which Tabata you hated. All right, let me know your thoughts. And if there's anything else you want to see in particular, trying to mix it up, give you a variety of workouts with a variety of focuses. Okay, I liked this kettlebell and kickbox style. I think I'll do this again. It's pretty fun, huh? Plus it's catchy. Kettlebell and kickbox. We need like one more for alliteration. But I'm not too uh, fancy with the Nancy with the words yet, so. <laughs> I'm not quick on my feet after I just worked out. But otherwise, you guys, subscribe. That way every time I post a new workout, you'll be notified and then you can join me and we'll stay fit together. We'll have fun while we're doing it. Whew. And as always too, take the time to do some static stretching <clears throat> as you need. Okay, so ideally at the end of your workout, not before, all right, or at least not right before. But if you need to take some time at the end of your workout to do some long stretching, that's fine. But make sure whoosh, you're breathing normal, your heart rate's back to normal and your muscles have kind of relaxed a little. All right, you guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, stay strong, stay tough.